So a few weeks ago, I uploaded my 2024 antivirus tier list, but today I decided to abruptly take it down. A lot of new information has come to light as well as your comments and they've inspired me to re-upload my 2024 antivirus tier list and it's coming at you right now. Nico knows tech, all your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico knows tech, number one channel with the news on deck. In my last tier list video, I made some statements and comments about the online article industry being untrustworthy or being for sale by antivirus vendors, and that was a pretty blanketed statement that is not wholeheartedly true and not the totality of that statement is not true because a lot of publications are verified, are very well tested, and then there's some that you need to stay away from that are just selling antivirus to you. For example, we're going to be referencing PC Magazine and using it as a reference as to some of my decisions today. So I need to retract that statement and apologize to any that are affected, and that is part of why the video was taken down. Now, without further ado, let's get to the tier list. Now to start with a baseline for good, we're gonna start with Windows Defender. This is what comes with your computer. We're gonna use this as the baseline because it is actually good. Detection rates are actually in the upper 90s usually. Overall, it doesn't have a whole lot of features, but if you're not having a specific use case or you're not looking for extra protection, it is considered good and that's why it's in B tier. If it's below average, it'll be in the C tier and then D tier will be reserved for do not install or do not recommend. They're a significant downgrade from even defender a tier is for above average very good and then s tier is what i would call perfect it's a great value it's perfect on detection security features usability every all the criteria and so to start it off we're going to start off with some of the free options such as avg and avast and just like before I'm looping these together because AVG and Avast merged and they're one company and they share technology. So either one, you're getting the same protection. And AVG used to be better than Windows, it used to be A tier. But right now, it's actually in C tier, not because the protection is not as good as Defender. In fact, some ways they're in the A tier, but there's a big problem here. They have so many false positives, they're so sensitive with their heuristic style engine that tries to watch behavior and reputation that it alerts on things that are not necessarily malicious. And that often tells people to turn off their antivirus to install applications, and that opens you up to a major infection. Not only did you install an infection, but your antivirus was completely disabled, so it wreaked more havoc on your system than it normally would if it just got past your security. So I have to put that in below average. Next I'm on list, F-Secure, which I've been watching a lot of lately, is actually doing pretty good. They, they aren't an S tier because they tend to slow down the system in certain times, not all the time, but sometimes applications are sluggish to upload. And I think that's its behavioral uh, heuristic style behavior kind of monitoring where it's checking what applications are opening up. So I had them on B tier before i'm actually going to put them on a tier if you can and they're only the only thing that's not making them perfect is that that one little sluggish of applications opening but after the applications are open it doesn't seem to slow it down any more than any of the other options on this page so it's actually getting upgraded from b tier to a tier avira used to be popular a lot of people still swear by it but it's only just okay it's not significantly better than defender it's I can't see it as worse, but it's not definitely above average. It's just okay. So it's good. Webroot talked a lot about this. It's loved by the IT community, but like I said in my previous tier list, this one's being recommended mostly by the corporate IT environment. And in that environment, they're behind protected networks, IPS, a lot of layers of security and firewall. So in a, but in a real world environment where you're just downloading this for your PC, connecting to your own Wi-Fi, it's just okay. I like it, but Defender is actually doing pretty well, so they have to do better. You have to do really good to be Defender now. Sophos used to love it. It's been around forever. Detection's not so good. I can't say a whole lot about it. Just in real practice, I haven't seen its detection rates very high, and it misses things. I can't even use it as a, a malware remover as much anymore, and that used to be a different case. Trend Micro, we used to carry... Uh, Trend Micro and Webroot in the stores and in the IT department, they were almost synonymous. And But in my opinion, Trend Micro actually was really good until about the, the mid-2010s. They started dropping off 
and they're mostly doing a lot of licensing deals, attaching to routers and things like that. They're only just okay now, not the same as Webroot. And then McAfee, everyone knows McAfee, everyone knows Norton, and we got something to talk about Norton today, which is new. But McAfee is definitely in the D tier. Their main marketing strategy is to preload onto new PCs. They're not out there trying to win real rewards, or real rewards rather, and they slow down the system. They're very annoying. They have pop-ups trying to sell you other parts of the program, and they're not particularly effective. They're actually bad at protecting you from viruses. 90% of the people that come to my channel and need virus help, they have McAfee installed, but it didn't do a thing to protect them. And then Norton, this is gonna surprise people, but Norton actually has improved, and I'll show you an article here on PC Magazine. So Norton, that has normally gotten a scathing review from the channel, actually got 4.5 stars out of five from PC Mag, which actually does use independent tests, independent lab tests. And what they came up with was the only problem was the price at $69.99 or so. And it had high scores on lab tests for detection rate. It had good protection against ransomware, comes with a firewall, online backup. So Norton has actually taken an upgrade. So Norton is actually going all the way from D tier up to A tier, and that one's a shocker, but they've warranted it, they're getting the awards, they are actually passing a lot of tests and have a high detection rate, good, good ransomware protection, and an intelligent firewall. So at least for 2024, they're looking good. I'm not gonna put them in S tier because of the track record, the business model of preloading onto machines, and we don't know if it's gonna be good next year. We know they've thrown a lot of money on it and putting in a LifeLock licensed onto their top tier product. So for now, it has earned A list, despite what you or I might feel about it. Um, that's just the way it is. Next on the list, we have Viper. Viper has come out of nowhere. They were kind of a small operation for a while, at least in my opinion, from what I knew. And um, they've actually become pretty darn good. Some ways better than Defender, but right now Defender's doing pretty good. They're just okay. Not a whole lot to talk about them. They're good, not great. Next we have Malwarebytes. Every IT loves Malwarebytes. I use this every day removing viruses and the only reason I didn't put it in A tier last time was when you activate all the real-time protection for the paid version to not just remove viruses but protect you from viruses, it uses a lot of memory. So I put it in the B tier, but you guys were commenting and made the argument that if it's protecting you, maybe you'd rather use a little bit of system resources to protect you from getting a virus. And I can validate that argument. That makes sense. So definitely not an S tier because of those reasons I stated, but definitely better than Defender um, in protection. Next we have Bitdefender. Bitdefender I really like. The only problem I have with it is it does use a bit of system resources, but not as much as Malwarebytes and even some of the other offerings here. But the PC Security Channel, a YouTube channel that I follow, and you guys should too, tested Bitdefender a little while back and tested the ransomware protection where if your files are encrypted, it'll automatically roll them back. Well, Bitdefender said it did it, but the files that it rolled back were still encrypted. So that really important feature didn't even work. Now, is that a deal breaker? No, but you are paying for that. So I couldn't see that as a value. So for that, I couldn't give it S tier, even if it deserves some parts of it. Kaspersky, I also really like, very strong protection, great reputation background. However, political climate, their main headquarters is in the uh, Russian Federation. I know they're starting to, they want to move it to the United States. That may change things in a lot of people's minds. But there's also some privacy allegations out there that may or may not be true. As more information comes out, I'll update you. But you know, and then also the application itself, while it's very simple, there's not a whole lot of things you can change about it. And that may or may not be a problem for you. But for me, I like to be able to control my security a bit. But for that reason, I can't say that it's perfect. Finally, we have ESET. I actually use ESET and for the longest time I would call them A tier, but in November they threw a ton of money at ESET. They added an, a new tier even of Ultimate, which includes a VPN and identity protection. And overall their tests are very strong, very good detection rates. They even have uh, intrusion protection system to stalk hackers, um, really intuitive firewall, very powerful. Overall, you could just install it and you know that you've got 
some of the best protection in the world. And for that, they are S tier. They're my number one uh, recommendation. And you guys shouldn't be surprised. I'm actually using their ultimate right here. And I, I love it. I have it on all my machines now. And um, if you guys like to check out any of these, uh, I do have links in the description. Uh, some of them are affiliate links. I do make money on some of these, just so you know there's no funny business going on. I'm not affiliated with most of them, but some of them I am. Um, or you can just look them up yourself if you don't want to help me out. But yeah, that's my 2024 tier list. And uh, that's what I'm sticking to. Tell me about in the comments. Do you think I got this right? Or you think I got some wrong? Um, I can always update and upload another video. And I'd love to hear about it.